So here is our fake skin after it's dried. I let it dry for around about 15 minutes, but this is the consistency that you are going for. Nice and rubbery, nice and bendy. In today's video, I, or rather we, are gonna show you how to make your own fake skin. So let's go. Right, firstly, take your rings off, if you wear any. The ingredients that you will need is some silicone. We went for clear silicone. And then you need some corn flour or cornstarch, whatever you want to call it. And a little baking tray or something just to put your skin on when it's ready. So first what you need to do is grab your bowl or your surface, whatever you're using, and put in some cornstarch. Then what you are doing is you are grabbing your silicone. So once you've done that, it is all on touch and feel. There is no specific amount of ingredients that we put in, no specific amount of silicone. You know, you just do as much as you need, essentially. But what we're doing is we are going for just a spongy consistency. If you've ever baked, you'll know what, what we mean. It's, it's basically just a a bouncy dough. So you're just making sure that the corn flour is all over your hands just so the silicone doesn't stick to it. By the way, the silicone does have a really pungent smell, so get ready for it. So now, as you can see, it's starting to turn into a nice bouncy dough, and this is exactly what we're going for. You're just going to keep going until you've found the consistency that you need. If you see that it's got cracks, then that just means that it needs a little bit more silicone. All the bakers out there will tell you that this is how you do actually work with dough. You just basically now, you're just kneading it and kneading it and kneading it. Yeah. Once you've kneaded and you've found that consistency, we need to flour a surface again, just to uh, stop anything sticking and your rolling pin and we're gonna roll it out until we get the thickness that we want. We're also trying to get it as smooth as possible. We don't want those dimples, we want the, uh, the cleanest surface possible. So if you do have any impurities or anything like that, it's easy just to get them out here. You can just rub it out as you can see. But once we have a nice flat surface and we have it to our required depth, all we're going to do is we're just going to leave it to dry. When you are finished, do not wash this down the sink. It is silicone. Please remember that. Once you have rolled out your fake skin, just let it set on a baking tray. It's not sticky or anything. And just leave it there for an hour to fully, uh, fully cure. So here is our fake skin after it's dried. I let it dry for around about 15 minutes, but this is the consistency that you are going for. Nice and rubbery, nice and bendy, hard to pull apart. Like you can't tear this thing. It is unreal. And it cost about a fiver, if that, to make. And you could make more and more and more off the back of that fiver. Honestly, it's really good stuff but now let's tattoo it. So we're gonna start with a mag. So this is just straight black also, just so you can see, but it acts and feels exactly like regular fake skin that you would buy from a store, from a tattoo supplier, should I say. So let's just run a quick line. So this is a three, I think. Oh, it's perfect. It's perfect. Let's run a round shader. And that is how you make your own fake skin. Try it out guys, but that is the most cost effective way of getting fake skin. If you are purchasing fake skin over and over and over again, as you are practicing, it can become very expensive. And like I said, I made that 
for less than a fiver and I can make even more while still using those same ingredients and you've seen how big that slab is. So if you are practicing, I highly recommend it. Now it can be a little bit tougher to wipe away that pigment, but just use plenty of Vaseline or ointment, whichever you're using, and it should come away just fine. But guys, if you have learned anything from this video, please consider subscribing. Do not forget to turn on the bell and I will see you all in the next one. Peace out, much as love.